Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to take a picture here straight out of the camera and it's in the develop persona and see what we can do to it and put on some fairly radical full slider changes to it. So, so the first thing we've got here is it's a picture that's got everything from the dark of the inside of the shop here to the really bright sunlit here. This is probably near the middle of the day because the shadows are going to be, you know, they're very short and so on. But it's an interesting scene. They've got somebody upstairs and a dog and, the, and, and so on. So it's, there's a lot to look at. We could do some more, you know, straightening up and things, but we're just going to focus on the light in it. So first thing, before we do anything else, we'll come down here to shadows and highlights. And shadows, we're going to brighten up all the shadows, particularly in here. I'm going to turn this all the way up. And the highlights, we're going to darken down the highlights all the way down. Well, there's more detail in here, but it's, it doesn't look great, does it? So we need to do more with it. One of the reasons it looks a bit hazy, you can see in the histogram, the lights stop about here and there's a bit of space here. You've got a bit of a spike down here, but you can't see anything being shown up here, really, because what I've got on up here I've got show clips highlights, which will show when everything's gone white in red. Shadows, which will show everything that's gone black in blue. And show clip tones, where one of red, green or blue, or maybe two, has gone to the maximum or minimum, but it's not completely black or white. And that will show up in yellow. So what can we do? Well, the first thing, let's just go up here and we'll use the black point and brightness to push this histogram about the place. So I'm going to turn this up, and there that's making things darker, but look at what's happening here. See the yellow coming in, that means we're clipping the tones, and you can see what's happening here. It's pushing the histogram too far that way, so we need to come back a bit. So round about seven is okay. Then we'll go to the brightness and see how far we can push that up without it burning anything out. And in fact we can get all the way. So that's kind of good. And it's pushed it up to here. So these have got a bit of leeway in here. Maybe later we can push the brightness by some other method. And because if you're going to do things like change contrast, that's going to affect it as well. However, so what's the next point is to look at the contrast. And we could go down here and turn up contrast. And notice how this quickly kicks off all this yellow stuff here. And something you can do to save that is to change the vibrance because that's turning that down turns down the, the saturation of the most saturated things. So I turn that down and look what happens. All that stuff very largely disappears. There's only a little bit left down here. So I could bring contrast to somewhere around here. That's a little bit better. But I'm actually going to zero that back again because I'm going to go to tones and they've got curves in here. So I can use a curve. So I can pull up and pull down here to get a classic contrast S tone, S curve. And if I go too far, look at the warnings are coming on all over the place to tell me that's much too much. A radical way of doing this is just to pull one all the way up and pull one all the way down. So you've actually got two dots either end and that will give you quite a good S curve. And then maybe try a little bit beyond that, but beware of overdoing things. So let's look at what happens after that. Well, the next thing is going to be noise because I pulled out the shadows. If I go in here to inside the shop, because this is dark, that means you're going to get noise. So let's go to the details tab and go to the noise reduction here. And I'm going to play around with colors. Is that going to get any color noise here? Probably not. Can't see anything happening there, so just leave it where it was. Then luminance, let's bring that up. And what you have to do with luminance is turn it up and leave it for a while to let the algorithm catch up. So there you go. Look, that's just taken out a lot of noise. So you want the minimum way up here that gets rid of the noise. So you can see a little bit creeping back in. So we'll leave it there. So it's about 20, 25 percent. But now we've lost a bit. So let's sharpen up a bit as well. So a way to do this. Uh, what I'll do sometimes is put the radius round about the middle and then bring up the amount. Because if the amount too much, you're going to get 
and I'll zoom into this you can see the pixelating that's happening there so from that so I can pull up that up until that's going okay then play with the radius again is that going to make it any better so it's going to be that's about as good as you're going to get I think here so that looks a bit better now what else uh, let's just do a little bit of but if I go up to here, you can see the reds and the greens around things and even in here. So we can fix that by going to Lens and Chromatic Aberration Reduction. If I click on that, this takes time by the way, so... There, when the box disappears, nothing seems to happen, but give it a moment and it'll eventually get through and there you are, it's fixed it. So you still got a bit, little bit around here. If necessary, you can go to Defringe and add even more effect. But we'll leave it for there for now. Because this is where we have now ended up. We can even go back and tweak a few things. And so, for example, going up here, if this looks a little bit bright here. I'm going to pull down the brightness there to tidy that up a little bit so it's not overly bright on this area here but compare here's the before so that's relatively flat and here's the after look at how much difference that's made so there we go uh, an extreme edit just in the develop module made a big improvement thank you very much for watching